get annoyed by these type of people because they get so confused. Like, the reason I'm into interracial dating is because I'm, I think I'm better than you. Basically, you still think that you are a slave, basically. You see yourself as less than white people, you know. That's why you use the term coon. You understand coons were people who thought they were better than black slaves. People that were slaves. That they actually decided to actually leave and run away. Because they knew they were good enough. You and your family and people with your mentality have a slave mindset. So you guys think of yourself as beneath the white man, and then you get angry like, oh, how dare you think you're just as good as the white man. So you try to re-implement white supremacy on other black people. So that's what I was saying there. Um, the whole thing with interracial dating, if you watch my channel, you would already know, I do not worship white people. What are you talking about worshiping white people? I don't. I have said that white people have Neanderthal genes. If I was worshipping them, would I ever say that? Would I say all the other videos that I've made on white people that are pretty negative and based off of race? No, I wouldn't. Would I t talk about worse in racial relationships and dating? I mean, it's like this. The majority of men are white. Therefore, you should open your options to white men because you're not less than a white man, you're a black person. And for me, the way I was taught, I was actually taught between white and black, if you have to choose who's better, you choose black. But, you're supposed to work under the idea that white and black are equal, which they are. Um, and, yeah, I just think that they are equal, you know. I never would think black people are less than white people. And everyone on this channel probably knows that. Now, the thing is, you guys feel insecure about the whole situation because you're like, Oh, but you're a white man, so you must think that white men are better than black men as people. No, I think they look better than you. The reason I think they look better is because, I already said, my father's side doesn't look like you. My father has a phenotype that's mixed, one, and that's why I prefer mixed men. And this is a major reason why I've always had an insecurity with uh, not looking black enough, basically. <laughs> because I have a dark-skinned black mother. I've always thought that was the epitome of femininity. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say, though, with that comment. Uh, the other comment with the other person uh, claiming that I worship white people, that kind of goes in with what I said in the last comment, um, oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that, I was trying to say that, um, everyone always has this fantasy of me doing porn, it's like, no, the problem with that is, I could never do porn or prostitution, the reason why is because, excuse me, sorry, I'm trying to hold a bird, but, um, the main reason I couldn't is because, I've talked about this, my vagina is too tight, it's too small, what I'm saying is this, I can't just sleep with anything. And then, on top of it, I've always thought, like, porn, I couldn't really do that either, because, like, the small guy would not want to have sex with me on camera, because his penis is small, I don't think he'd want people to see that. Usually with porn, they have big ducks. That's the whole point of porn, right? I mean, I like watching gay porn, and it's really cool. No, big dicks are really nice with gay porn. Watching it. But I don't want to, I don't want done me. <laughs> you know. So that's the main thing for me. I never do that. Um, but here's the thing that I wanted to point out. Um, it could happen. Couldn't it happen with me on the phone line? Couldn't someone call about slave sex? I mean, they could. They could try and call me the N word or something like that. But I never get that. Instead, I get black men trying to be degraded by white people. Trying to have this fixation about white women. And it's like, from my perspective, it's like this. 
Okay, so if you're saying that white men are so racist, how come they never call on the line and ask it? Well, like, this is a pretty demented side of men, you know. Many men are pretty demented, so some white men call about some crazy stuff, you know. Usually they want to hear about, like, the bimbo blonde type. Sometimes they have a little youngish fetish, maybe like a college girl or something. But, I never hear them ever calling me. Honestly, at one point I did try to put myself in the black section. It was getting me nowhere. I think mostly because the phenotype different. So I stopped putting myself on a racial level. And I just put, like, babysitter, like, uh, like, girl next door type of thing going on. Uh, like a college girl kind of, like, thing. Um things like that, and, you know, those things really didn't have any problem, really, um, of the type where it's, like, you know, racial, that's just my experience, you know, but if someone called about that, I don't know, I don't even know how to really talk to them, I've never had that type of conversation, usually for me, it's always just degrading some black man for being Anyway, for being this, for being this, and all those shit, you know. When I was first starting out, like, first call or so, you know, if you get all the words out, and then you don't know what else to say. You're like, really, you're thinking in your head, really, is this turning you off? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, to me, I just think, like, you know, you must be really demented to be getting off on being coffee anyway, like, something must be really wrong, like, it, those aren't supposed to be erogenous words, but somehow it is for people, but like I said, especially, like, the most astounding part is, like, using, you know, like, trying to talk about basically simulating a white man, is like, oh my, and people make jokes on that, honestly. They do. They make jokes on black men wanting white men to basically dominate them. But I never really thought that was a real thing. You know, like those black male hate channels? And I, I don't hate black men. I really don't. But, I mean, like, if you ask me about my job and what I do and things of that nature, I won't lie to you. So, yeah. On a total grand scale of things, talking about white men who are supposedly the end all be all racist. Yeah, all the racist calls I've gotten was from black men who want to racist terms thrown at them. So, I mean, like, I mean, you have to try and be somewhat convincing on proving how basically black men are somehow less of ga ghetto gaggers than black women one. How black men are more, like less racist, I guess, to white men, you know, on these levels. I think what's wrong and what's going on with these black men is they are so conquered that they have been programmed by their racist white grandfathers and so forth. And when I say that, Every black person has a white grandfather, by the way, <laughs> way back. And it stayed in our blood, that's why we have 22% on average. And it wasn't the nice type of white person, basically, because it came from like slavery. So, to me, I think that's a part of the mentality of black people, because they're infiltrated genetically. Um, just saying. And I mean, it's not just genetically, it was environmentally because these people were around those people specifically. So that's why it's intrinsic in black families. You'll hear the most racist terms used by black families. And it's so sad because they're black. But they so hate themselves. They hate themselves more than any white supremacist hates them. Because a white supremacist doesn't have to be black. But a black person hates that black people exist like that 
because most black people hate that they are black, and they hate that blackness exists because it includes black. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Sorry if I sound sleepy, I just woke up. But thanks for watching, and bye.